Okay, I'm going to be playing a game that maybe not a lot of people have ever heard of. Well, it's based on a cartoon, I guess you call it. The Gregory Horror Show. I don't know if I could call it a cartoon or something weird animation. It has a dark sense of humor, too. It's funny, but it also... I found walking through uh, a deep forest in a thick fog. Weird square-headed characters, too. It's like weird cartoony childish things, but... How did I get here? Uh, I should have been home by now. You get the point. It's strange. Suddenly, I saw a bright light before me. It was the hotel. Oh yeah, this is Halloween Video 6, if I'm right. See, look, you'll see what I mean by blocky people. Do you need a room for the night? Mouse! Oh my! You certainly do look exhausted, don't yes, you? Yes, that's Gregory. Well then, I'll get a room ready for you. See, I can't really explain it. They're like these wandering souls and they go to the hotel and then they're long. Well, I'm really bad at explaining. You know what? I'm gonna name myself Ass. Yeah! I have a file on here already with Cloud, so yeah. Right this way, if you don't mind. I'll be happy to show you to your room. See these weird cutscenes? Pretty much the graphics. Say, we don't of often receive guests at this hour. Of the cartoon thingy. Very weird looking. Not the game, though, I mean, Perhaps you know, whatever. you've somehow managed to lose your way. Or, oh, uh, or maybe you've just lost your mind. I'd lose my mind if I was in your that house. That was a joke. <laughs> Have a pleasant sleep, my friend. You'll be needing it, believe me. <laughs> the creepiest character in the whole Greg Horror Show thing, the series, the cartoon thing to me was always the butcher, the candle guy. If anyone knows. And so I fell into a deep sleep and began to dream. If anyone's ever heard of the series, tell me, because I'm like, want well, to know I'm not the only one that ever has watched it. Come on now, throw away all them worries. Forget about them. Huh? I can tell you ain't from around these parts. Hey, what's the deal, bud? Are you lost oh, or something? Don't be embarrassed. You can tell me. What? You can't get back? Hmm. Okay, how's about I make you a little deal? Soul time. See, my job is removing lost souls from the living world. And that hotel is full of lost souls, what needs to be removed right away! hoo If you go in and find them, I'll show you the way back. I even got some body you can use. It's a little small, but hey, what you gonna do, right? I guess I was just a lost soul. When you find them all, come see me again in your dreams. You got that? See you later, pal. The whole point of the strange game is that, yeah, get the souls, and you can find a way to escape this hotel. Because no one gets out of the hotel. See, I'm not really good at explaining this, I mean... Eh. He gives you a... Jeez. He gave us this little kid's body. This gives a whole new meaning to Blockhead. One of my favorite characters, well... Well, yeah, I like the Butcher and Nick... Nick the Zombie. I mean, Nick... I said that wrong. Well, yeah. This little kitty is my favorite. You. You're the one who moved in next door yesterday, aren't you? I need Grace to Grace had a story with him. Yes. So go get the key that's on the counter in the lobby and bring it here. I'm not gonna lie. For a little bit, this game's easy to get until to you... the lobby. Ugh. Just go straight. Turn around in the hall, yeah. Once you start playing more, like, this is just like a little intro thing. Then you get your health bar, then you... It does you can start to get really annoying and a little bit hard. It's like, you gotta, like, sneak around so much. You get caught, you get, ugh. You screw up, you die. The key to the room next door? You won't see that, though. This is the, the beginning part. The that inhabits that room is the last remnant of a family that once caused us a great deal of trouble. Mm -hmm. A most dangerous cat indeed. 
He was once a beautiful creature with fine silky fur. Then, one stormy night, long ago, someone sewed everything shut. Eyes, mouth, ears! I wonder who that someone was. Oh, what a horrible thing! Since then, he's been a nasty beast that attacks anyone who draws near. Gregory's a As liar. As the manager of this hotel, I simply cannot allow you to have that key. Yeah, well everyone then, follows a schedule in this house. Time I made the if you know the schedule, the well, it's easy to not get caught by certain people that want to kill you later. Yes, there's a clock up there. Woo! Wait for him to walk away and just go grab the key. I knocked on a chair. Huh. Uh, okay, now we got the key. Hmm. There we go. I don't think I can open the door right now, okay? No? Ah! If I may, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't open it till he's away, stupid mouse. Oh, yeah, walking in first person view is actually a lot better in this game than third person, in my opinion. It's a lot more helpful. Also, looking through random keyholes in this game can, can be frightening depending on what's on the other end of it. <laughs> yes, you can look through the keyholes, obviously. Like this. See, that room's empty. Okay, let's go this way. I'm so hungry. Is it dinner yet? Meow. We meet at last. My name is Neko Zombie. Neko Zombie Kitty. Kind of scary. No, you are not scary. I don't need your sympathy. Yes, my name's Ass. So they call me Ass. I guess awesome. This hotel are planning to keep you trapped here for all eternity. Yes. So they're not going to give up their souls that easily. So. He's gonna teach you how to get their souls. You have to know their weak points if you want to get those souls back. Not literally their souls, First but the things they're carrying around. About their weak points without them noticing. Other souls. Now we'll practice peeking. Go out into the hall and look through the keyhole. Well, we already know how to peek through keyholes since that was kind of obvious since I did it already. Are you? Yes. Metal Gear Solid Horror Edition. Did you yeah. see me? No, I don't see you. You don't want to move like that fast when there's people you don't want to see because they can hear you as the floor creak. You'll have to figure out on your own what my favorite food is. His weak point is food. All you have to do is listen on what he says. Yes, easy. Right? The game doesn't start until like 20 something minutes into it. He wants something that's not too cold, something that's sweet. He wants some dessert. Hmm, what could he possibly want? Let's go in there, god dang it. Hi. Chocolate. A dessert that's sweet and not too cold. Chocolate. Yeah, he sees like chocolate. That's it. Here. I'll give you this. And yes, that's this the soul talking about. that he had. I picked this up somewhere a long time ago. Here, you can have it. One down. Two of them are easy to get since they're pretty much a tutorial. I think there's like 12 in all. Then they begin getting a lot harder. There are twelve souls in all you must find. Each of the guests in this hotel is carrying one. Oh. 
Yeah, 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 yeah I know. How are you planning to deliver those souls back to death? Hmm, I see. You're going to meet him yeah, in your dreams? Yeah, you should sleep to meet death. In that case, you should sleep on the bed in your room if you want to hand the souls over to death. But guess what? That's all you guys get to see. Because I can only do ten, well, you get the point. Minutes. Eleven minutes, whatever. So yeah. You only get to see the little beginning part. Bye-bye!